Welcome back to another Ad Nation Live Tonight Show with the hockey coach, girl coach, Francis directly for the beautiful country of Thailand on the great evening of Monday, March 20, 2023. Hopefully an amazing, great start of your day on this week. And uh, we're going to talk about the Montreal Canadiens tonight. Uh, tonight, we're really focusing on the first subject of the night, guys. is going to be the... Do you keep uh, Denis Kirianov uh, with the Montreal Canadiens for next season? Do you believe uh, Kirinov should play or not next year in the roster of 2023-2024 for the Montreal Canadiens? This is the question of the night. We'll talk about what he did so far since he got trade from the Dallas Star to the Montreal Canadiens and returned Arjini Dadenov. So we're going to go a little bit more about the, that and, uh, about the Kirinov tonight. We'll talk about some news around the team um, of Montreal Canadiens. What happening uh, during the practice this morning? We're going to talk about a couple of news that were a prospect a player for the Montreal Canadiens. I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the player Montreal need to sign before June 1st. Uh, and then the future defenseman roster and 2024 and 2025 for the Montreal Canadiens. So this is what a subject I have about the Montreal Canadiens. We're going to follow up what's going on. And NHL tonight, five game in action uh, tonight uh, on this great uh, Monday night. The Senator Ottawa still winning 1-0 over the Pittsburgh Penguins. But it's all about the Pittsburgh tonight. Is the rookie Dylan Ferguson uh, has a really amazing, great uh, performance as a goaltender number one game. His first game in NHL against uh, Pittsburgh, 39 shot versus 14, and Ottawa Senator uh, scored the only goal by Thomas Shabbat. Uh, that's only goal we got. Uh, the second game of the night, the Panthers lead 3-1 over, over the, the Detroit Red Wings. This is not good for the Montreal because they know they will have the pick of the Panthers. And the Panthers right now with a W tonight and the last of the Pittsburgh tonight. This is going to be a name major impact on the wild card on the Eastern Conference between uh, the Pittsburgh and the Ottawa Center uh, and the well, the Florida Panthers. Uh, three more games after that. The Colorado owes uh, the Chicago Blackhawks. The Sharks are in Edmonton. And the Kings uh, owes the Flame tonight. A very important game for the Flame. They want to stay alive uh, on that one of their uh, last of the Ottawa Senator tonight. It will be almost uh, the end of the race uh, of the wild card. They're already late uh, for sure about that. So we have a few people knock the door. So we'd love to welcome everybody in the chat. Don't forget, guys, to click on the like. If you don't mind, that'd be awesome. Uh, sharing this on your social media. Uh, tell the people to subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live Show. This is the, the channel number one for the Montreal Canadiens. We talk all about the Montreal the most of the time. That's what we bring on the table. Don't forget, every day, Monday to Friday, I do a video. It's called the Ad Daily News. Maybe that more information about the Montreal Canadiens. Today, uh, I talk about the the prospect, at Lane Hudson. What an amazing, great weekend he has. What an amazing, great year he has, too, in the NCAA. So, Finally, my last request. If you have any questions, guys, the easy way to have a question when I'm alone is a little bit more difficult to follow the channel, uh, the messenger, the message, or the post. Uh, 
is that put the little Q in front of your question so I can as answer to your question. You can ask at any time. I will feed the I will look the best I can to answer to you back uh, the best I can to run the show. So that's pretty much what we have. So welcome back, everybody. Thanks to be with us. Uh, let's further ado to welcome everybody here in the chat. Uh, let's start it with one. Hey, the first one, ladies and gentlemen, is RJ Calabro. Welcome back, RJ. Le jambon et patate is back in the house. Welcome back. Thanks so much about this one over there. And then we have Luciano Graziano. Not in the view for Luciano, but uh, Luciano said, uh, Welcome back, the moderator of the Happy Show. Again, Pace Boy, again. Uh, you have to write Luciano about that. Welcome back, by the way. RJ, what about the road runner? The road runner is back in the house, ladies and gentlemen. The road runner is back. Uh, Gary Cournoyer is in the house. Thanks so much, Gary. What about our friend Nick Bear? Nick Bear waiting for the Chicago Blackhawks play tonight from Illinois, Chicago Blackhawks. Bear, welcome back. And Roger Bushbusha from Vermont is in the house. Roger, welcome back. Hopefully, you an amazing, great uh, day over there. On the borderline between the Massachusetts uh, and the Vermont. Uh, but uh, always a pleasure having him aboard. What about notre ami Yann Giannel, directement de la belle province de New Brunswick? New Brunswick, back in the house, Yann Giannel. Our friend, Real Deal, uh, Prim, uh, welcome back. Real Deal, uh, gave you take so much for the super chat a little bit earlier today. And then Real Deal is a big friend of the Buffalo Sabres. Claude Richard said, keep Denis uh, for one or two years. Uh, for Denis Kurianov, uh, we'll talk about him the next couple of minutes. Thanks so much, Claude, directement de Ottawa. Uh, Kurianov is 25. He's going to turn 26, uh, if my memory is good. Uh, Coach Chantin is not always good, but uh, I'm pretty sure I am, uh, Mr. Is right now um, 25. It turned 26, John 7. And they, I need it again. I love it when I love it. I love it when I get it. Thanks so much for all the likes so far, RJ. Keep up the likes, uh, Yan 26. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, he said, Yan, uh, for the shot versus 40. Sure, wow, wow, exactly. I will tell you, and then I switch the last seconds, uh, uh, Luciano. Uh, yep, we did it again. Uh, I keep uh, gearing up recent for the most part of the uh, success in Montreal. He has uh, side shots, getting a lot of upside, uh, everything like that. Uh, Jan Picker, Ottawa tonight. And Rabinov, the man of the men. Uh, welcome back in the house. And, and Rabinov said the flood turned the season totally around. You're absolutely right. I agree with you about this one, uh, Mr. And Rabinov. Uh, the flood Panthers are relieved, but they did try to cut the lead from 2 to 1 now. Uh, the Dylan Larkin score is 26 of the year to uh, give now the Panthers only a lead of 3 to 2. The Blackhawks and the Avalanche are in action now, uh, right now. That's again. And Mr. Rick Bengal with Demetra Bengal. Uh, what a great couple from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Welcome back in the house. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, this bit with us. Uh, oh, Frédéric is retour with us this uh, Frédéric, uh, we'll take some up for you. Uh, pose. I will keep uh, curious enough. Uh, that was an uh, answer of Frédéric about this. Welcome back. What about our friend? Uh, Uh, Raymond uh, Rahim, uh, welcome back. And M, M. Markov uh, got the point record. Uh, so it looked like uh, Markov had a point tonight and he passed Huberdo, if I can remember that way. Raymond, if it's the case, uh, first of all, welcome back. Thanks to be with us tonight. Uh, keep up with the likes. Uh, Wally Snyder is directly from downtown in Denver tonight. Uh, welcome back, Wally. Hopefully, you're doing well. Uh, he's going to follow the game, begin to win the Colorado Avalanche versus the Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs> J. 
Julien. De retour tonight. Uh, nice to see the show is going mostly abs. I should get your more followers. Hopefully, Julien, it will happen. We'll keep pushing hard, my friend. Uh, that will be see If Sullivan on the 10 eyes, I don't think so. And Rabinov uh, about Mike Sullivan, he, got, he does a great job. Here's the key uh, be, between you and me. Who he could become a little bit worried about him is if ever they fire Brent Burke or Ron Extal, the, the GM. Extal make a couple of really diff not good decisions. Think about this. They got Jeff Petrie for Mike Madison. Madison have a good year with the Montreal saying he can back from injuries. They trade uh, John Marino for Ty Smith. Marino is one of the best defensemen right now for the New Jersey Devils. In return, Ty Smith still battle uh, to stay in the bubble player in the American Hockey League and in, in the NHL. So you can see those little um, traits that did not help the Pittsburgh Penguins. And then the goaltending situation, the really, really bad year for Tristan Jarry. And uh, Casey De Smith is a backup number two. He cannot ask her too much. So without the performance of the goaltender, I think that's the reason why they at right now. Uh, it's rare they only have zero goal for Pittsburgh. Usually they can score two, three goals and they can win. Tonight, that's what it should happening. But right now they are losing, but it's called one zero. But this is the case about uh, Mike Sullivan, uh, Mr. Enrenov. Uh, uh, you're welcome, Julien. Uh, all you guys talk about Hudson, more nice prospect. And you guys, yes, we talked about him uh, yesterday, uh, twice on the show. And uh, like I said, an amazing, great guy. Go talk about them in the next couple of minutes, by the way. Don't go nowhere. Thanks you so much, R uh, RG, for the update. A more serious uh, channel, the less uh, laughing face uh, focus on the app will help grow. Thanks so much, uh, Julien, about that one over there. Um, Le channel, uh what it makes sense to keep clearing up a right before Ab are ready to come compete. You trade him for younger talent. Well, that's a great point about this, this channel. It all depends how they're going to develop, uh, uh, you know, clearing up in the next two years. Uh, here's the case, guys. Uh, I will consist with the question on this channel about this. Uh, first of all, guys, uh, uh, do you keep uh, Denis Kurenov? Was the question at the end of the day, right? Uh, Kurenov right now with the Montreal and the 11 game at six points, five goal, one assist. Remember when he cut play 43 game with the Dallas Star this season, he have only two goals with the team. Here's what you get for Martin Saint Louis when you talk about Kurenov. Uh, first of all, we talk about uh, the fact. Um, he can skate very well. He is good on transition. Right, he is good. He can shoot quick release. That's what you get with Kirinov. Now, what he looking for is the question was, can he keep play on the top six? He has the skill and the talent to be there. The problem is his inconsistency, game after game. Can he bring that kind of level of intensity, not only physical but puck protection and see the eyes better? This is under where his accuracy is limited. But as we talk about at the time, you can teach the sense, you can teach the, you can turn the brain with the right way. So that's what they have. You still have 12 more go, 12 more game to sign with the Montreal Canadiens. Couple advantage about Kuriana for me. He have a size. Montreal don't have a lot of big winger. They have Sarkovsky, they have Josh Anderson. Can you consider Joel Amiel? Yes, possible 6-2. But they don't have, the rest you talk about Gallagher, you talk about Carfield, you talk about RHP, uh, Pesera, uh, you know, Jake Evans, and you can go all the way like that. So I get a guy that's like enough on the good size that he can play that level. I think it could be a good asset for the Montreal Canadiens. I would be a little bit worried if I was Montreal Canadiens to send him as a RFA. He can run about $3.2 or $3.4 million for one year next season. I think it's a bit too much. I think if you want to get a good development for Curry enough, maybe sign him about $2 million, but give him a security of two years in NHL. So with that money, he was going to make $4 million now for sure for the next two years as guarantee. Now he could have those kind of interest by the team in KHL and return over there. I'm not sure, you know, the rumor was maybe him is enough return in KHL. It's not confirmed. It's not say he wants to do that. It's not the point here. By the way, the Avalanche score 1-0. It's a McDonald and McDermott score his first goal, uh, goal of the season. McDermott just back in the lineup, by the way. And that's what we got. 
uh, between Colorado and Chicago. But again, that's the situation we're carrying out. So there are a lot of fun questions uh, you have to look before you take that kind of decision with Curiana. I think for me, a lower salary cap for a two years contract. And if it's not part of the, the plan in the next two years, when the Montreal is going to pick it up, but I think it will be right the right place about that. That will give, of course, uh, after Amia uh, is done with his contract in two years, but not next year, the year after that. But QRNF could be, of course, or so that will remove about $5.5 million on the salary cap for Montreal that will take that money to pay for the right players around the team. I think that's what I'm thinking about QRNF. It can definitely play a top nine. It's just to see if his hockey sense can develop and if he can become a better hockey player overall. If he can get that drive, he can drive to the net. It could be a good asset on the power play too. If you're lo losing Hoffman, you're losing Drouin next year. Uh, you're losing possible, uh, you know, that enough is not there anymore. So you can now, that's one spot you can get. We don't have a lot of sniper in Montreal. And I said, he's a really like a, a oven skin, but he can put the puck in the net when you have an opportunity. And I think Montreal don't have those kind. Most Montreal score is although the effect is Carfield. As the players really go and find the net and they tip the puck or they get the rebound. Uh, for a snapper for Montreal, with only right now at this moment, is Hoffman. Uh, enough, if he stay, do you take the spot of Jesse Eilerden? Do you think both of them can play? What about Emil Eneman? That's one of the ones coming very soon. So those questions is all about what you're thinking, what kind of team you want to be, what you time the kind of team you want to become, uh, you know, and the future with speed, transition or not. And that's what happening about this, uh, Luciano, for that, that with a full season, Kerenev could score 20 goals. That's what I'm thinking, Butch. I think you're absolutely right about, uh, uh, about this. I think Kerenev could be that kind of players can add those, the players. Now, the fact you get Kerenev and maybe you make a big splash at a trade deadline, can you trade Josh Anderson? because he's called 20 gold, and QNF can become that kind of 20 gold you're missing next year with him, and then Anderson can give you a really good something in return if the value is there. I think that's some, another possibility that Montreal can consider at some point if they want to resign QNF, that will give them a possibility to have at least Anderson could be on the market at some point during the offseason. We know last year they tried to come enough to get a Kirby Dock, can Josh Anderson can bring something in return? A top prospect? I don't know yet, but that would be a thing. Jeanne said, I will keep a Kurianaf. Enartap is back in the house. Welcome back, Mr. Enartap. Enartap, back in the house. Uh, you're welcome, Enartap. Uh, but you, you can go now with... Um, First with Luciano. Luciano bring this uh, on the chat. And then you have to go all the way to Yamo. Uh, Yamo make that news about Dylan Ferguson. And then you can blame uh, Danny because Danny is a guy can... You, everything happening is all about cause of Danny anyway. So uh, you can blame many people, Mr. Natap, uh, on that one or uh, on this one. Uh, uh, Mr. Zev Lecav is in the house. Welcome back. I forgot the rule. Zev yeah. Lecav, back in the house. Uh, welcome back. Power play for the month for the Pittsburgh Penguins at that moment, by the way. Um, Gary Neff has a potential top six. Uh, I agree with you. The potential is still there. Can he do this? I'm not sure. At uh, top nine, definitely about this. Uh, we have to uh, blame Yamo. He put the goalie shot in the chat. There we go. Uh, Detroit cut the lead to one uh, from Detroit. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry about that one over there. Uh, here we go. Uh, we have a couple of people. Rick Bengal, uh, Demetra is the great one on the over the sorry cap. Uh, here we go. Rick, uh, well said about Demetra. Um, and I tap too many. I will have them trying to develop. Uh, Frederic, uh, ça, ça prend de la profondeur pour pas cher. That's his ready to go at the world down zone and eh? plus. Uh, wait, Frederick, you're absolutely right about this. Uh, you know, but that's what happening in the initial. Most of the time, you pick up a plus at the bottom uh, to get, like, you know, those salary at 750 or 800. RHP is one of them. 
uh, I'll be the one who can play on that one, on that situation. Uh, William McClary knocked the door. William, thanks so much. Thanks for all the like we got tonight. Alexandre Maillard, de l'appel de la région de Montréal, est de retour avec nous ce soir. Welcome back, Alexandre Maillard. Thank you, RJ. À un an à deux ans, c'est sûr que le, le reculé, euh, reculé musical de Padek jusqu'à 26, mais ça peut être un bon choix aussi. On est patient. Uh, great. What was said, Frédéric, about that? Uh, I agree with you. By the way, we're going to talk about the Montreal Canadiens prospect uh, draft pick uh, and the next uh, 20 minutes, guys. Uh, stay with me. I'm going to give you a little bit more information about the Montreal Canadiens, who they should pick. Uh, pick number five is the case. Uh, Uh, that's what we got here. Amia, uh, no merci. Il est temps qu'il parte. Hey, the problem about that uh, for Zef, uh, for Amia, Joël Amia, uh, the problem, we have two more years at $3.4 million. That is the biggest problem. We talk about Mont can you try to trade some player with salary cap, right? It didn't happen. They, drive, they, they gave Shea Weber, but he got stuck with uh, Hoffman this year. He got stuck with uh, uh, Amia. And then he got stuck with Gallagher. Three contracts right now, Montreal could consider at some point to trade. So, in summer, guys, I think a player we don't talk about is Joel Edmondson. I think Joel Edmondson could be another one, could be trades on the, the draft uh, uh, and uh, Nashville to get something in return. Um, that's something they can look about this for sure. Uh, but that will help him to trade Joel Amir, I believe, for the Montreal for the Surrey Cap, firstly, the, and then the Secondly, uh, for the fact they open a spot for our younger players, uh, and I think that would be, uh, I think he needs some kind of new scenery anyway for Joel Armia. Uh, Mr. Nem, Nem Dahl is in the house. Welcome back. Uh, current up looked like a much more better Armia. Not great, but can at least score a couple of goals. Um, different players overall, right? The Panthers take the lead 4 2 now. Uh, a goal of Eric Stahl. Eric Stahl, guys, 13 goals this year with the Panthers. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, after he missed uh, completely one year last season, 13 goals for the veteran uh, Eric Stahl. Uh, so, back again about Kurenov. I, I think, uh, compared to Amir, it's two different players like I can mention. The, the quick release of Kurenov, Amir doesn't have it. I think the pot protection of Amir a little bit better compared to, uh, to uh, Kurenov from Joel Amir. But at the end, I feel like Kurenov, um, first of all, a little bit younger and uh, a little bit bigger uh, or, um, as a size. Uh, I would prefer to get Kurenov over him if we don't forget the salary cap uh, or the salary of the contract. Uh, let's see. Nicolas de Gouvi Bono in the house. Uh, welcome back. Thanks for the likes, by the way. Uh, Kurenov weakness was that he did not move inside. So when you talk about this, he, he don't drive in front of the net. He don't could try to go inside the house. But we have an opportunity. Remember the last goal again when he got the the the, shot, uh, the pass from Pitlick? It was right there. And he have a quick release. So if he can drive those stuff, like if he can drive, like you said, for the inside or compete more, that's what we're looking for. His defensive zone coverage has to be better. But if you Have a time to fix this problem, guys. They have 12 games to go, and then they can sit and make, make video with him and explain to him what you need to improve. Again, at 25 years old, it's a great project for a short term of two years in front of them and to see what happened. A little bit what they did with Jason Strobel. They gave him a contract last week, ELC, at, at 22 years old. So I will not give up on him yet. Uh, it's really all depend if uh, and do the dynamic as a positive way. Jean Bon Palat. Merci beaucoup, mon homme. Curtis, uh, welcome back, Curtis. Uh, Curie Neff, he will be back. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Curtis, uh, with us tonight. Thank you so much, Wally. Melissa Zebran, directly from Zebran from Detroit. Uh, welcome back, Melissa. The shot are 18, uh, 45, 45 again versus 18. And that's what he got so far. Dylan Ferguson is a star. Benjamin, welcome back. I think Benjamin is your first time here. If you are first time, welcome to the Hockey Nation Live Show family. If not, 
welcome back uh, and uh, glad to having you. And but guys, like I said, I speak French and I try to speak English. <laughs> I can understand. So you can ask questions in French or English. I try to answer for the best for the people in English, but I will slide sometimes some kind of words in French. So thanks again for joining us. And don't forget, guys, to click on the like if you don't mind. So Benjamin, uh, I will keep him a great comments. Uh, we need to move a big contract um, like Anderson. Yes, here we go. Uh, like, you know, everybody have their own opinion, but as I think uh, I agree with you, if the return and return for Josh Anderson, uh, Benjamin, is very good, I think Montreal could make that kind of trade and they get something, a uh, prospect or wh whatever they get, if they believe the field is good in return, I think they open a spot for someone else, for the Montreal Canadian, and they open up a $5.5 million for the next four years. You have to think about this too. And I'm not sure. The Pittsburgh Penguin guy tied the game. Pittsburgh Penguin tied the game one to one. I think a Crosby tip Malkin or one of the two of that. And Ferguson right now look in the sky. And said, what the heck happening to me? And uh, after 46 shot on the on the net, uh, uh, Ferguson fall on that one over there, and it looked like it's a uh, Raquel score. I said by Crosby Malkin, but uh, we'll somewhere to follow up a little bit. Thank you so much, Benjamin. Uh, what uh, about 2.5 2.5 for two years uh, offered to Kieran Affair? That would be the max Bush, I would say. If you can get him at two, $2 million, if you can get him at 2.2, at 2.2. Uh, wow. He just slipped the puck between the poles uh, and the, his left pad of Ferguson. That's why he's upset about that one over there. Uh, If you can get him lower at this point, it'll be a better great point about this. Uh, does Canada have more uh, liability than uh, Anderson? Uh, well, no. It, you have different ways, right? It, it, it's not as fun players, right? Anderson is really grow as a hockey player this year. You can see his maturity. You can see his leadership. You can see when he play, when he play with TOI, he gave you more. Uh, and you can see process on power play. He took advantage of opportunities he got in front of him. But Ken, same question you can ask uh, you guys in the chat. Do you really believe Josh Anderson is a top a top six in NHL? Right? Both are the same boat, but the hockey sense is limited. Uh, their vision is limited. Kurenov and Anderson, uh, Kurenov a better shot, but Anderson a better for checker. He's more physical, and he can, you know, he can, uh, he can go in front of the net at any time. But they have bring their own uh, skill at and in, inside of the team. It's what depends. Montreal can develop more. Anderson is 28 years old. He's going carry on a 5.5 million dollars. He's scoring average for 22 games per year in NHL, but not many assistants. Assist, same thing with Kurenov, five goal, one assist. So that's who they are. It's just the money of the one you want to carry on the money. For me, Josh Anderson guy always said, it all depends what you get in return. If not, keep him until one more year, and maybe someone is going to get him at the trade deadline. He can get me something bigger and return. Uh, package deal in our tap. Uh, hello, hello, here we go. Um, please don't forget to hit the likes. I appreciate that. Well, one year for Kieran Hav, a trade aim at the trade deadline. At this time, young girl forward will have an experience. Are going to be ready for the play in NHL? Yeah, possible, Alexandre. You can get that kind of risk. Like, money could be another additional uh, return, of course. Uh, play the Panthers score 5-2. Carter Verhehe score is 36 of the year. Second goal of the night, uh, by the way. So that's possible, Alexandre. I agree with you. I got I'm catching I try to catch up everything on the chat by the way. Great great, great conversation guys. Don't forget guys to click on the like. There'll be awesome coach uh, from N Rebinoff. Uh, will you be doing this show in the off season? I need some hockey tags on the summer month. You absolutely this and Rebinoff. In the last two years and a half, I did not miss many days. Uh, I did it all year long last summer. I did it. Now possible I will make some kind of change this year. Maybe not come every night, but definitely back often during the week. Now, I would take at least two weeks vacation this summer um, to pe to visit Thailand. But otherwise, at that sense, during the two weeks, I don't do anything. I would make pop, pop up some videos, everything like that, maybe do a live streaming on the island of the Fifi Island and then to get that kind. But definitely, 
that will we do all summer uh, during the time we have so many things happening so yes and Rabbi Nach will always talk about the more um, this channel was guys uh, more I would say to you before it was more about 60% 70% was Montreal Canadian uh, I tried to go around a, a, any other team and then I decided for the last couple of months now weeks at least for a couple of months to go only with Montreal Canadian and add other things around the channel so that's what we'll get uh, right now for the Montreal Canadian channel. So thanks to Ask and Rabbi Nafa. Um, I love it. Uh, bonsoir, Claude Richard. Uh, everybody, look each other. I do need to remind you uh, about Toronto. Uh, Rick, uh, I'm so... Uh, Francois Pitt, welcome in, in the house, by the way. I'm 53 about Kirinav. Don't know if you want him or borderline. The guy is not on the top line. That's the point right there, right? It's not... You, you, you see plus, if they don't have the TOI, and they are not there. It's not going to help in you if you put him on the four line. Uh, a third line with a great talented players that were helping him. I think you need to have a center with a good a good vision uh, for him, and you need a, a players with him to play on the. Uh, I would say to you, they need him to play on the. Uh, a fourth checker to pick up the puck. Uh, the auto. I, I'm sorry, I I was looking now. The Ottawa score on power play, guys, to take the lead 2 1 on the power play with two minutes to go remaining. Really bad, uh, bad play for the Ottawa Center. Uh, we have a goal there. Patterson score for Ottawa Center. I just see the goal live right there. And it would be interesting if we have um, a, review, a review on that one there. And that way, the Pittsburgh are now possible they lose that game. Ouch, that will hurt them for sure. Uh, about that. Uh, uh, any possible free agent can use may have ESI for the next season culture. This is a quick question there. I think they are one year. If I'm Montreal Canadian guys, they are one year before they get the jumping on the UFA. Um, the UFA they're going to get whatever is a, you know, a good, I'm talking about a, a top six forward, a top three defenseman. I'm not sure if it's going to help the Montreal Canadian to what they want to be yet. I think they could wait a little bit longer, one more year, and to get that kind of veteran, 26 years old, 27 years old, UFA. That would be the way I would talking about that. Now, they can patch up the old, right? Whatever they want to. They could add a veteran, you know, but they already have guys, players, and uh, they can see they have the Bills in now, they have Pit Lake, they have Pesada. Uh, they have Ellenon, Enemon. Uh, we'll see what Farrell is going to do. Owen Beck, what he's going to do. Uh, Jake Evan is there. Uh, they have a players now. They don't need to get out to go to the bottom of the bottom six anymore. I think for me, 2024, 2025, this is where they have to pick it up now, the next generation of the new player on the UFA at some point. That would be my, my best suggestion. Great question, this channel. Um, uh, would you use Maison as a trading uh, chip at the back of jail or is it untouchable? He's not untouchable uh, to be Philip Maison. Here's the point behind him is Ken Hughes said at the beginning when he's pop up guy, he always said, we're going to go through to give every tools to develop a young prospect until we really believe this is the limit. And I think for me, they still believe on him. Uh, you know, He's a really quick, fast skater. And I think you need that at the new generation of hockey we are right now. You need guy can skate with a puck. Uh, he's 5'10". He have a good hands. He have a good vision. He can score. You can see at the World Junior Championship. He showed during the, the rookie ten, camp for the Montreal Canadiens. During the main camp, he was there for a couple of times. He have a, a, a really so-so OHL a year. Unfortunately for him, guys, he have a problem over there. Is the team did not do well um, uh, in OHL. It was really, really bad team. They have a lot of things happening there. The Kitchener Richard, new coach, and then after that, they have many problem in turn in the locker room. And it was not a really great look place for Mazar uh, during his first year in OHL. So he have some kind of inconsistencies during the year. I still believe on him. I will not give up. It's a little bit like Justin Barron, right? You don't give up at those kind of players like that. You have to wait to be a little bit more longer patient about that. Uh, 
Euh, François Pitt, le problème avec Amia est Amia. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Andrew O'Connor, welcome aboard. Thanks, Andrew, to be with our Kenesha Live show. And that's something we can, we don't know, Andrew, about, you know, what kind of, you know, this is a, a prototype of Russian players, uh, who they are, cold players, they don't do much, they are not very, they are very, qu care, uh, very quiet, they take care about their own business, uh, one, you have only one or two Russian at the team, and that's what the case with the Montreal, so we don't know what kind of teammate he is, the only thing I said, like I mentioned, I think a contract about $2 million dollars, would be the great signature for the Montreal. You can go at 2.5 for one year if you have to, but otherwise that would be the only thing I think it would be the best for Kirinov. A great point, Andrew. Thanks for sharing. Kirinov is as a size. I want uh, to keep Anderson to keep getting bigger and fun. Uh, Gary, Amia is a team in full with a bit push out. Uh, you welcome Nandal. Uh, please pray for Jose. And now it is in your gallery. Uh, good evening, Dan Asham is in the house. Uh, I can see Doc and Kulanov having a good uh, synergy. It could happen there, right? Um, Doc like to pass the park and can he can go that direction for sure. Uh, I agree with you. The finale, the auto of the senator is going to be the Pittsburgh Penguin tonight, but it's called a 2 1 again. The, Pittsburgh, this is a blow for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, with that loss, uh, with the win, the, the Florida Panthers just did it. Uh, this is really not a good news for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, we know they are right now on the straight of 16 years and the playoff in, in each other. Well, who do you have in mind? Uh, Amia was good on the one. Uh, they were racking Amia line before he got injured. Yeah. Here's the problem with uh, Amia, right? Is uh, in, the inconsistency of Amia. You know, it can be hot for seven, eight games and then disappear for 15 games. Dylan Ferguson won his first W in NHL. Uh, what a great story about Dylan Ferguson. Draft in 2017, probably the Dallas Star, never played in NHL, went to Vegas Golden Knight. Uh, then he was at Toronto Maple Leaf last year, signed a new contract in the American Hockey League with the Ottawa Senator with Belleville uh, Senator. He now we have, you know, this is what the goaltender number one, two, three, four. I think this is the fifth goaltender this year for Ottawa, if not the sixth for Ottawa. And uh, yeah, great story for Dylan Ferguson, uh, 24 years old, did it uh, first W. Uh, we love those kind of story in in each other. Nat Lafon, welcome back. Nat Lafon, directly from the Montreal uh, area. Welcome back, Nat. Long time. Uh, after that, we have a forensic intercept. Uh, do I live in Shirley Sosoir? That is a 1 1 Pittsburgh Senator, 1 1 2 1. About that, uh, but was going to met the camera. There we go. Uh, pray for the surgery for that one. To me, me walk, can case it, shame what. Gary Conway does Batman uh, want to increase uh, the salary cap sooner? But this is happening right now. We know they try to increase it for $1 million for the se next season. That will give them 83.5. Everything is about the escrow right now. This is the biggest negotiation. They have a new represent, uh, represent, um, Commissioner or whatever you want to call it for the NHL PA, uh, Mike Walsh, I believe is uh, Mike is his first name, Mike Walsh, and they're going to meet uh, Batman. I think the first time they're going to meet each other is going to be about the salary cap. Can they increase it this year a little bit at two three million dollars? At some point, like a couple of months ago, they was thinking to do a three million dollars. Now they're not looking that way. But it's still on the table. We're not going to this confirm until the next couple of weeks and months for that one, Gary, uh, for the sorry, cap. Uh, great question, by the way. Uh, we have a couple of people here. Um, uh, so of the league does not want sorry, cap increasing. Rick, uh, Mr. Randy N is in the house. I don't like the way a uh, Mercer treat uh, Drouin situation should have no dress M. Uh, Chelsea deserve to be a top forward. So, yeah, no choice, Randy. The way he, he have no choice, uh, Randy. The only way he, because you have no players, uh, Randy. So 
if we have an extra player, Randy, they will not dress Jonathan Dorn. But because they have no players, because Cooley was hurt, and what meant to the spot of Cooley, but they have no uh, anybody, they don't want to call up anyone because it was not a call up emergency. They can pick only two more. And that's only the, the reason. I don't think so, Martin Saint Louis. I don't think so. The Montreal Canadiens won to put Drouin on that situation. It was just the circumstance of this situation put Drouin on the bench during that game. They turned around to be fine, turned around to be good. Uh, they turned the page. They move on. By the way, Jonathan Drouin today was between Curry enough and Anderson on the second line. So uh, they could take advantage of that story, guys, to turn around and to get to turn around this and to learn and to have both ways, uh, both parties to learning from that experience. Uh, the San Jose Sharks take the lead one zero again in Edmonton Oilers, guys. Uh, Frédéric uh, Allen, the clever player, or coming, Joshua Roy Hudson, uh, Mayu Farrell, Beck, Savakasi is bro, is coming very soon. Yeah, that's the kind of prospect Montreal is looking for. And uh, you have other players you can add on that prospect, uh, whoever could have a good way uh, to join the Montreal Canadiens. I'm playing gold, not enough for Anderson. Uh, if Anderson is a bottom six, you are not going to get much in the trade, uh, uh, Gary. Yeah, great point about that. And that was Knit Sinning. Nice Sinning is like the only prospect that I have lived right now. But well, is a one of them for sure, uh, William. Matthew Nice play for the Minnesota Golfer. Golfer have a really good year. Uh, he was draft 31, I believe, for the Toronto Revolve with 30 seconds. Uh, William, the kid can play hockey. That's really what they have. Uh, James, uh, welcome aboard. I think it's the first time we welcome in the Hockey Nation Live show. Uh, James, hopefully, going to subscribe to Hockey Nation Show. Uh, Colonel, there's a, a 4.5 million for five years. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Are we curious? No, James, why one? And, you know, I want to exchange with you. Let me know why you think he deserved that money. What you, what is the, you know, the facts where he did what he deserved that kind of salary at that moment. Um, James, I would like to hear from that, uh, from you. Uh, definitely, uh, James, about that one over there. Uh, Randy N, 20 gold, not enough for Anderson. He's did at 22 all year, all his career. He have one year at 27 years old. Now, he's been a, a prone injury before this season. You know, we get hurt, never play a full year in NHL. Um, that's what he is. Is it good enough at 20 gold, 22 years old, uh, 22, 23 gold uh, to get $5 million, 0.5? I'm not sure about that, but a great point. Um, for that one over there. Uh, would you put uh, Grenav and Sakaski on the same line? I would try it. I think you get a 6-3, a 6-4, uh, but they are similar at the same time. I think, uh, you know, Sakaski uh, have a great release shot uh, like Grenav has. I think they are a little bit more um, similar at front level. I would be thinking, who is to be the center? Can you put Sakaski, Doc, and Kurenov? It's all about what... Because you have to think in each line, who is the driver of that line? Who drive that line, right? And I think Doc can be that player. I would be not surprised me. If you want to take advantage of Kurenov asset, you have to use a player like RHP. If you put RHP guys on the third line with Kurianov and a Doc or a Devorak over there, uh, uh, Devorak, he win the face up, he go get the puck, uh, he battle all the time. You have RHP right there. Uh, look, this line could be interesting. Kurianov could take advantage of the goal right there. But again, uh, time will tell us. Sakaski have to learn a lot before he get that level. Uh, KLS is in the house. Uh, Tommy Scott signed a two years EN three level contract. We are absolutely about this, KLS. I think we got the best prospect of the league at that time. Um, on the last uh, prospect evaluation in the NHL, like I was said to you two months ago, we are March, right? Maybe two months ago. Uh, Montreal Canadiens was number 11. Uh, and NHL. One, you have to, why? Because well, Carfield does not count anymore. Zuski does not count anymore. They lost Romanov. 
Uh, they got dark. I understand that. But they are all already guys. So when you evaluate the prospect, you don't calculate the player already in initial. So you talk about like Owen Beck, Hudson, Mayu, everything like that. If you consider only those players, Montreal is considered around 11 in the NHL. 8 to 11 would be the right number for them. The year before that, there was number 7. But at that time, we have cough. It was that uh, Sakoski was not there yet. It's on the summer. But that's what they get. The other team are a little bit, little bit more prospect overall compared to Montreal Canadiens. And they are not in NHL at that moment. But you are in good hands for now with the Montreal Canadiens. And that example, if they pick number 5, That player has to put now the prospect. Now Montreal can become at the top 10 on the NHL prospect. Uh, Frederick, great question about that sharing with us. Uh, final score, 5-2. to two. Thanks so much. Uh, Ottawa score, uh, power play, 2-1. Uh, see where I am right now. Current up, uh, I said that it will be released, uh, Melissa. Um, but what he can be released, he can let it go. He become a RFA. They don't give him an offer to get that way. He's going to become a UFA uh, at this moment. Uh, careful, careful enough. It could happen. You never know. Uh, beat Minnesota night before the last. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Minnesota, any initial draft prospect in Detroit? I'm not sure, Bush, what you're talking about. Are you talking about... Uh, Already there, they have it. But with Detroit, open up the door to uh, Simon Edvinson during the weekend at the defenseman uh, for that one. There uh, we go, 2-1, two 2-1, to one. Uh, two to one and internet. Uh, four skater on the first all-time Big Ten. Okay, let's uh, come up. We'll take the right spot and the lineup uh, next season for Gary Conroy. He could have that kind of situation. Uh, Fentany is rolling with Michigan. KLS, uh, what a great year he has uh, this year. I know Bedal is a start of the draft, but Fentany is going to have a great career. Absolutely about this KLS. Uh, um, about uh, about uh, Adam Fentany. Uh, question What about the 23 24 draft? Is also a good one. A little bit light is a good one, but a little bit light. The, the Celebrini, the El Semen. Um, about that division, uh, that draft. You have a couple of good defensemen on that, the 23-24. Um, but it's not considered like that because this year we have four, four players could become super elite possible five. So um, that's not like this in 23-24. Um, you know, and 26, I believe, 25 or 26, they're really good. But uh, 23 24, that's what we had at that moment, Alexander. Funny, not lately, now final 16. Uh, funny, at the lately, now final 16. Yep, so right, William. He's been there, guys, the number one. Fentany, guys, dominate the scorer point in, in, in NCA. He had the most point per game average. He was at some point 1.60, and I could be wrong there, like per mer it could be 1.55 or 1.72, but that was Fentany. Uh, for that one. By the way, at some point, Sean Farrell for the Montreal Canadiens was number two behind him. And uh, number one defenseman point per game average was Lane Hudson that's on the year. Uh, Ottawa wants to agree or not. Uh, LH is in the house. Thanks so much for all the like we got tonight. Question. Uh, if you are at management uh, or coach, what would you be your plan for next season? Will you be opening up college for 23 years or It's all about constantly de developing three areas. The culture of the team, the development as a hockey player, individual players, and the development as the team. And find a way to improving your intensity, what you want to become. Constantly teaching your concept of the game. Keep constantly teaching the kid to understand the program, a professional hockey player in NHL. They are the really my four. As a coach, I'm talking more. Right? That would be that. Again, I never mentioned win the season. I didn't mention we have to win. I didn't mention we have to finish 27, 26, and the same thing. It's not. What you try to accomplish when you have a plan like the Montreal Canadiens is to go forward. When we move forward, can we become better next year? Are we are better this year compared to last season? What area we need to improve? They have many areas in Montreal need to improve as a team concept, the power play, the PK, Uh, the face off, the goaltending situation, the defenses on coverage, and all the concepts I'm talking about. But as an Israel player, all the players we got, we have, are better at the end of the year. 
right? It's a 12-month now season. After the seasons are, are over, Adam Nicola, Vincent Le Cavalier, Francois Bouillon, Francis Bouillon, Scott Pellerin, everybody are going to continue to work with the players all the way. But it's all about Montreal it developing, developing, developing. And this is all about the first thing to do. But developing is fun way. The culture, the team building, right? The culture, the brand, and the standard. Then after that, you have to build the players, like I mentioned, and I can go. But great questions, that's about for me, that would be the first. They was been there last October. They should be that way this season, that's 23-24. That would be the way to get that part of there. I think we'll be prospect a uh, system and I'm Detroit, New Jersey, Buffalo. Yes, you can mention Carolina guys on that uh, on that one um, for an attack uh, in NHL. But don't forget uh, the Columbus Blue Jacket on that one. Uh, they are really uh, good. The real uh, the the Columbus Blue Jacket. Uh, uh, Danny T knocked the door. I believe that uh, welcome aboard. Thanks for being with our condition of show. Uh, you really know your hockey respect. Uh, um, Thanks so much, uh, Frederick. Uh, welcome. Uh, by the way, we need people like you to make us uh, make that channel better, by the way. So thanks so much for your help tonight. Uh, we have Mr. A2ZME is in the house tonight. Uh, now, Ottawa 1 2 to 1. Uh, Saro's contract end of the season 24 25. I would go on the on for him. The day would be really. Francois. But that's possible there, uh, Francois. Now, at that moment, he's going to be 31, 32 years old, uh, Saros. Uh, 23, 24, so it's two more years. He's going to be 20, 30 years old, um, if I'm right. Coach is not always right, uh, so verification. That's who I am. I like to be uh, to give you the right things. Uh, he's 27 years old. He turned 28 this year. He will be 30. He's going to be on the merch of the 31 years old. Is it too old? Is it too young? I'm not sure. Again, it all depends, uh, Francois. You don't want to sign a contract five, six years with him. You can see many goaltenders to struggle after 33, 34, five, five years old. At that moment, that would be the beginning, Francois, of Montreal Canadiens to become more respectful, a respect, a respect team in NHL. You have to wait two more years before Montreal to get the really the peak. He's going to be 33 years old, 34. Is it good enough to get him a seven million dollars? I would be worried about that. Every player, guys, the new generation of hockey guys, and hockey is going to now not. The, the pick of the players was always been 26 to 30 years old. Most of the position it was. It's changing now. It's getting more about 24 to 26, 27. So what you try to do, you don't want to sign a long-term contract at any player reach 28, 29, and 30 years old. This is going to be negative at long term. And that's what the new generation, that's why you get more contract guy at 21 years old, 22 years old, 23 years old, 24 years old. They get to sign them a little bit younger. That's a lot of money for them, but they really believe that kind of player, they can become their pick at the right time, at their best for the players. When you get 20, 33, 34, 35, 36, it's a, a small number of the player in the NHL still consistent performing, not many of them. So that's why the new wave of what the GM thinking now in NHL. Who will see? I'm not sure, and I understand he's a great goaltender, how he's going to be performing at that age, uh, Francois. But he's a great goaltender. Um, Dave Ab, Senator, and switch uh, the channel. Uh, William McClay Ferguson made 47 save tonight. Uh, sorry, not that, but the kid is net. It was unreal. Yeah, uh, he played his game or his life. I always said that to you. Uh, two years old, total four million, not a penny more for Kurnava, not any team or for him more. Um, that's my deal. Uh, I agree with you on, on, all, the way, uh, all the way. Uh, pays out uh, the first first round, no matter who they play, they ever make it. Uh, um, about that. Uh, Pittsburgh and Washington both, both like they are getting close to Chicago style, uh, down. Uh, about this. Yamo, uh, that was funny. Ottawa, one to one shot. 48 21 on the little ball to say that the uh, army caught a cold and is out for the wicket on the wicket. What up with that one, uh, uh, Gary Connery? 
Yeah, remember, guys, uh, Joan Armiel had some kind of problem last year with his wrist, I believe, or I think his lower back or his wrist. Um, but he has really difficult guys. Also, uh, also he never been a 100% saying he got COVID-19. Remember, he got three times COVID-19 in a period of 12 months. And everybody suffered with COVID-19. I don't say I don't say to you, um, he is um, an excuse, but I just want to share with you a little bit um, about that, uh, Gary, about his sick, uh, sickness. Uh, we have a farewell coming. It's not big size, but skill. Uh, Zeb Lacab, you're absolutely right about this. Uh, now, I, make him, I did not make a mistake. I just said Farrell is going to sign very soon. He got eliminated yesterday, but he's still in the pack because they are the top best team in the ACA, the top five. They're going to still play next week, and they have to win Friday, and they have to, if they win Friday, they have to play Sunday, and they have to win to keep continuous the season of Farrell. So if Farrell is going to go to the Final Four, he have to wait until April 8th, and then Montreal have only two more games after that. When the season's over, Sean Ferry guy is going to sign with a Montreal Canadian, a contract ELC, and he's going to join the team right away. Ferry have a next a really a, a interesting um, story about him. He um it takes four years uh, when you go to Harvard University to uh, complete uh, your 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 school over there. But Farrell is a smart man. He's really smart. So what he did, he considered during the off season. And he pushed an extra class during the season to get out his back in three years. He's right now going to accomplish that one over there. We said be careful because uh, August 15, I know he's not going to go nowhere. He could become a UFA. He's going to sign a contract anyway. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of information about that. Now, if he does turn around with Montreal and play only two games, three games, four games, he can be part of the team for Team USA, go to the world, champion, uh, the world Championship in April if they need him. He did it last year. So he have an open spot. He could join that team for sure. But again, that's the situation with Sean Farrell uh, for his case uh, uh, from Zach. Uh, André, 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 the retour avec nous. André, welcome back. Uh, need chance. It sounds like a coach that way. It costs very little. Uh, great point about that one there. I will keep uh, Kurena for GMO. Thanks so much for all the light we got so far, guys. Uh, very nice from you. Uh, Joe Long. Um, Joe Long. Uh, welcome aboard, Joe. Thanks for being with our Kinesha Show. I think it's the first time. Uh, Evan Patron. Uh, welcome aboard. I thought it was a problem. Uh, about this, uh, Frenchie. Joe. My son said, Green. There we go. Uh, we have to resume. Uh, Xbox, everything. Uh, 50 watching at 12 like missing. Uh, come on, guys. Thanks so much for that one there. Um, Julius, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you want to hear a little great story about Julius? Julius is a smart man. He really brings a lot of great comments. Uh, not a lot. He don't come a lot. But uh, I remember like one year ago, Julius was a bit more involved, and he was always been great uh, knowledge about hockey. Really uh, good. Uh, yeah, that's happening there. Shell so is going to uh what about this julian as i said he's always have a different subject uh, mr julius uh, about that come on do you know um uh, emily has uh, could i play him after the first uh, boot but he's not too there was a clear message there uh about Julian. a uh, coach uh, do you see extal uh, been removed um from the Pittsburgh, I could list quite a few errors you make it lately, but your opinion, you're absolutely right about this. Uh, remember, guys, the Pittsburgh Penguin got bought a year ago by the Boston Brown, uh, by the Boston Brown, by the Boston Red Sox management. They own a couple of teams around the world and ML and soccer and hockey now. They are involved everywhere. I think for me, if they don't make the playoff, that would be the end of Ron X style uh, with the Pittsburgh Penguin. I will not be surprised. Uh, we talk about the Marino. We talk about Petri trade. Uh, now Jeff Carter, uh, one year longer with the team, does not perform the same level. Uh, is that movement at the traded line to not add a little bit more help for the top nine with top six did not in the defensive side? And the fact like uh, Jerry did not perform in the goaltending situation, Put this all together. It's not my Sullivan's going to pay the price. Only one can pay the price is one exile. 
Now the management can decide, you know what? No, let's get him another chance. He still have another, uh, two years more contract, I believe. Two years of his contract. He may be decide, let's have, give him a chance and see what happening next season. But he will have to find a goalie over there. He will have to find a top four uh, go, um, a top four defenseman. And they get, he gets he gets wrongly, uh, badly, uh, unfortunately. Because if you add Mike Madison and John Marino on the lineup right now, they have. I think that team is not where they at uh, tonight. 1-1 uh, one, one Edmonton Oilers again, the Sharks uh, at this moment. Uh, why does the league constantly overlook uh, the currency differential uh, Canadian MVC and the tax situation? They worry about U.S. market, a team who are not prospering, but in your the Canadian market. Uh, but they have, they have to go a little bit deeper. The, the biggest thing I would say to you, that all the players are pay, are pay in American money. All of them. Secondly, they have 27 team USA, a 7 and Canada. To fix that problem, it would have possible for the Montreal Canadian, uh, not Montreal Canadian, but the team have to pay the other team the other team in Canada for the tax, everything like that. So you have some kind of arrangement, agreement. I don't think so. I think the player does not want to do that too. And you have to go with Canada to decide whether they can get some kind of privilege for the team and the people in Canada won't do like it. It's a little bit difficult for balance that. Until they have a salary cap, this is not going to happen. They will need to get something different for sure. Um, in our tap, uh, you know, the reason why they're really looking for USA is because the con the TV contract makes so much money compared to Canada in our tap. Uh, excuse, excuse, excuse. There we go. Uh, how many uh, teams will lose money when this regular season is over on European culture? Um, we will only decide that at the end of the year. But you don't be surprised, um, Roger. Um, they don't lose too much, all of them. Uh, because they have TV contract. Now, the Bally Sport TV contract, um, the bankruptcy last month ago, could hurt many teams in NHL. They have 13, 14. I think it's 14 teams are associate of the local TV uh, contract with Bally Sport. We know Bally Sport bought all the Fox Sport um, a couple of years ago. And they carry on all the game, uh, NHL, and Major League Baseball, MLS, and I can go all this fun sport. So uh, that can hurt possible. You know, like I am, I have a big, huge, big money uh, with the body sport. Uh, they was carry on all the game over there. They have a, a I'm talking about million, million dollars. I think it's I am Ducks. If not, it's I am um, and baseball. Uh, but I think it's more than Adam Ducks. Uh, but, so that would be interesting. That's the problem. The, the NHL are a little bit careful about the salary cap uh, because they took that money to pay a little bit the escrow uh, for the, before they go increasing the salary cap. So it's uh, an area we can talk more, guys, uh, a little bit longer uh, about this. Uh, where are you going to put the Gallagher and the lineup next season? Uh, this is a big question, right? By the way, we scored a big goal today and they're throwing the practice uh, over shoulder uh, top shell. But um, it'd be another one. You have to fight the problem. You have a veteran uh, like Gallagher, play many years and carry on a contract at 6.2. You're going to find a spot for him. He will have to fight like anybody else. But veteran versus the rookie, like RHP Gallagher, you have to go with Gallagher because the circumstance situation with Gallagher. He become a prone injuries. And he, I don't think so. It would change. It can be recovery. But you're not going to see the Gallagher we saw in the past. And we have to, again, many GM make mistakes. All of them make mistakes at some point. Already one bad contract, two bad contracts. Uh, it's happened for each one. Uh, this is a one of them. Montreal have to suffer for the next couple of years, obviously, for him, uh, Gary. Uh, no money talk. All sport is not money talk. Uh, yeah. That's the point. They said that the uh, minister is about having a fair league. They uh, need to be at the same level uh, about that. That was not with the computer. Zef. Uh, Zeros will be the perfect goalie and 24 for young, talented roster. A super 30 years old goalie will come young defense when the ease is up. 
Yes, uh, Francois, I agree with you. But 24, 25, Montreal are not going to be again a top. It's how much money you're going to give to him, Francois. He's going to have 31 team is running after Jose Saros. They have not enough great goalie in the NHL. So you expect him to at least reach the seven, eight million dollars. We pay carry price at ten point five million dollars and we completely push him down with everything. Look the case, or I will give you the best con the best compare, guys, is Sergei Poprosky. Look his contract of Poprosky when he signed with the Panthers at eight year at ten million dollars, over 30 years old. Look what he's doing right now with the with them. He struggled. Same situation could happen with Saros. Oh, he said, oh, we can sign him three years. No, 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 no. This is his last contract in the NHL, guys. So he's going to targeting at seven years, at eight years. So at the end of his career, he's going to be 37, 38. He's going to carry on a minimum at 7.5 to $9.25 million, dollars, like, like Vasilevsky. He deserve it. He proved it. Right? So do we want to have a goalie at that level, at that age, with that kind of money? That's my question, Francois, and return to you. I don't say you're not wrong. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'll just give you another perspective, guys, of what I'm thinking. That's it. That's why we, it's fun to talk here, guys. I love the show more and more. Uh, more uh, to Jessica Gobert. Uh, RJ, thanks so much. Uh, um, yeah, former uh, Dave Gartner uh, passed away at 70 years old. Great point, RJ, to mention that. They played for the Montreal Canadian at the beginning of the 70s, uh, talking about 73 uh, 73, 74, 72, 74, play two years back to back over there. Maybe NHL should get ref to wear colors. They take the pressure of the players. She didn't. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, try to get uh, everything, have a conversation. People talk to each other. Great post and up top. Uh, um, uh, Arizona Kennedy are here to stay uh, a perfect place to uh, buy a very bad contract in the desert. Like, they are not smart movie about this. Uh, um, first of all, guys, I understand the situation with Arizona. It's always been a big bully uh, for the NHL, right? It, it, it's been struggle over there. They still fight for the now for the new ring and temple, I believe. Rick could be telling us a little bit more. But Arizona, guys, have prospect, have an amazing, great coach. They have a good goalie over there. And that thing could be turned around in the next four years in the NHL. Is it in Arizona? Is it in Houston? I don't know. But they have a really good staff management over there with Armstrong, and they have a really good coach. And that team in the next couple of years could become a solid team with Cooley. Who knows? Maybe with Bell all now. Cody's going to join the team next year. So uh, patient with them, and I can understand that. Um, don't count on Joshua out. Uh, yeah, it's a one of them for sure, uh, Francois. I agree with you. Anti uh, Dumasso, two years contract, c'est pas droit. It's a 6 5 as a love, a big defenseman. You're absolutely right about this, uh, KLS. Uh, now it's to see how he's going to carry, uh, carry on his, uh, his, you know, his career in NHL. Uh, if you think about this, guys, if you think about the Tampa Bay Lightnings, you have a chance to watching the, the, the season when you won the Stanley Cup, right? Um, you can see the defensemen. They have 6'6", 6'4", 6'5", Cernak, Edmund, McDonald, Luke Shine, Pocosian, all the big D at the defensemen over there. Um, so, We'll be interesting now. Uh, Tumor Sido uh, is a 35 overall pick by the Detroit Red Wings guys uh, in 2019. Uh, and uh, he always been play in the host and um, for Finland. He moved at the University of the Denver uh, last year. and But he returned to play with the Finland, the TPS uh, Liga. I think DPS, is it um, Okinen coached that team? And he have a 20 point this year in 60 game. Um, great defenseman. Now it's another one with imagine with Sailors and imagine now with uh, Edvinson. You can talk about three defensemen over six five uh, over there. We have Stu Pidaso in the house. Uh, 
uh, don't read everything like that. Uh, here we go. Uh, try to catch up a uh, couple of questions. Coach, uh, is it me or are we see the de decline of the snapshot in the NHL? If it's true, why do you think is the case? Uh, great question about this. Yes, you see the decrease of the snapshot in the NHL from the forward at least. Uh, and then I will tell you a couple of things. First of all, the block shot people. The play they play on defensive, the players are smarter, uh, smarter, right? They can block the shot more. Secondly, the time the reaction of any shot is increasing. So the time a defense players can put the puck, the puck, uh, the stick, everything like that, it's more difficult. The time the reaction in NHL is less now. So they did that. Secondly, or thirdly, the accuracy of the wrist shot of the player, they develop Uh, an inside shot, I would call you, right? So you put your weight on the inside with us. You can now uh, drive the quick release better, faster, and accuracy with that part of there. The, under this fact, I would say the stick of the player, the, the, the flexibility, the flex, the flex of the stick increasing on the right way and better for the players. Put this all together. That's make the chance now the player have a better way to score on different way and not to use the slap shot. And that thing said the slap shot is not good. It's just the the evolution of the game changing on, on different ways. And like I said, the hockey stick, the better smart skill players, they have a they develop more and more the shot quick release, right? And they now don't shoot on the outside leg, they shoot on the left side on the left side on the inside legs. I'm sorry about that. And then you can check, check Matt Hughes, the two drag, and they go in after that. They put the power on the inside leg. Look, Connor Bedal, how many times he does it. The wrench of Matt Hughes is 6'3". A better way to bring the pack, the puck all, all around his inside leg. And he comes with accuracy at the same time. So that's the reason. But on the defenseman, of course, they have now the players join the play more. So they don't relate really bold about the shot for the blue line anymore. The defenseman can score from the bottom of the top circle to the bottom to the goal line now. They join and they go the back door. So that's the reason you have more, uh, less of the slap shot. More one-timer, but a one-timer, be careful, guys. You have the new one-timer with your knee down, right? So it's not considered like always like a slap shot, but it's more like a quick release uh, shot about that. So... Hopefully, and I thought that gave it a bit more at different way, but that's what I learned the last couple of weeks or months about the reason why I have less slap shot step away from the phone. Someone said anything to me, not an answer, you're not, no problem. Okay, that's all good, my friend. Uh, put him, the little guy in the bed. Uh, wish him an amazing great night. Uh, after the top four, which draft edition player from the next tier? Great question, and I, and I show about this. Uh, guys, I bring so many uh, subjects here, I never talk about that. Uh, But let's go right here. Here we go. This is guy the top five NHL draft for 23-24. Uh, for 23. Pedal number one. You have Fentley, Carlson, and Mitchkov. Now you can put this all different ways, right? And you can put Mitchkov number two, Fentley number three, Carlson number four. You can mix up this. That's not a problem. The number five right now. It's really Will Smith. That's, that's him. That's the number five. Then you have a, another kind of players come with Will Smith. It all depends who you talk about. The whole people like it and they prefer. You can talk about Zach Benson. You can talk about Edouard Shelley. You can talk about Devosky. Now you have defensemen. Rain Badger show up more. The Russian Kuliev uh, is another defenseman over there. They are right there. Uh, you can go with, uh, you know, Oliver Moore, Randall Leonard, all other prospect of U.S. team, national team. You have a bunch of players you can pick. It all depends who you talk about, prospect, expert, they want to bring that came the name. But the number five right now, by one step over anybody else, like six, seven, eight, nine, then is really Walt Smith. Now, it's still early. The World Junior uh, under 18 start next month, and I think it's Switzerland, I believe. Uh, 
that's the month. Yeah, that's the way to watch. They have one more step for the plug to show the stock market over there. And that's happening for that. So Will Smith is number, number five. And that's the reason why Montreal need to finish number 28 at the bottom to get Will Smith. Can Mishkov keep available? We don't know yet. Because team like Columbus not going to wait for Mishkov five years. Right? So Columbus finished top two. Is he going to get Bedal if he's number one? Or is he going to get Fantilli? They need a center. That's Columbus out. Then after that, you have Anaheim, you have Chicago, and you have, uh, I'm missing one there, San Jose. San Jose is really interesting because they can't wait for Mitch Cobb, San Jose. They, know, they have no prospect in the bank right now. Uh, they don't have, any, uh, they have bad contract. It's the team who have to wait. So Mitch Cobb is a number two. San Jose is one or two. But maybe they're not going to take Mitch Cobb. You're going to take Fantasy too. But if San Jose is number three and he's still Mishkov on the board, I think they can go with Mishkov. That's what you, you can play like way, and we can talk all night like that. But five players, are, in my opinion, and they're all this way. Bedal, Fantasy, Carson, Mishkov, Smith. That's what it is. I'm still not sure about, you know, Benson. Uh, you can talk now about Andrew Crystal. That's only one step up the stock market over there. You can talk about the Finland player uh, and Antoinette Denin or something, Denin, whatever his last name. Uh, it's changing a little bit for sure. Great question, LH. Uh, we never see that they won the max contract all for five years only. I don't think so. And after that, but you're going to have team are going to refuse to give a more year after 30 years old uh, and after that. Uh, conservative Lawyer Law, uh, is in the house. Welcome aboard. Uh, I've never kept Russian player, at least not recently. We are not trading them. You're right about this. Uh, you you nail it. You can go with Sergachev, uh, called Chanak, and you can many of them. Uh, you're absolutely right about this. Um, uh, I agree with you. Uh, maybe uh, someone told me yesterday can use the one to trade. You don't want to pick a uh, Russian players. It's a little bit. I'm a little bit con not concerned, but I, I, I'm not sure about this. I think uh, Ken Hughes and everybody and the staff management, Montreal, we said we pick the best player we have on the board. At the moment, we pick our selection, but we never know. Because maybe better pick um, so one one and and in Montana, Marco, believe uh, Kovalev, uh, Kostnik, uh, Kostnikin. Uh, wow, what an AK forty-seven does or days now with an Nashville at the time. Uh, should the NHL owners uh, try to introduce performance uh, contract or will NHL never do it? The NHL PA will never do this. Uh, will protect owners in this manner and uh, prevent bad contract from certain? No, not at all. The NHL PA will never give one inch for what they already have uh, in our thought. <laughs> like my friend said, it's not negotiable, but this is not negotiable uh, in our thought. Uh, uh, I meant 31 gold at uh, 2 1 others. Uh, look like it was refused. Uh, uh, Disallow the gold. Uh, King of Gamer in the house. What is absolute best we can expect for Jesus Robot to become uh, is the one of those possible players at the same can make it to the nature. He can, a uh, King of Gamer. We never know at that age uh, with no experience at 22 years old how he's going to turn around. He could become another Kovacevic or not. I'm not sure, but everything is possible. And we have no, nothing, you know, and not a great year on offensive this year. You have one goal, 12, 11 assists, 12 points. But he's a good defensive home. Um, that's what he is. That's what you need to develop. And we have to readjust his space, his time. And But the potential is there. Montreal have now two years, 24 months, to develop him the best he can become. And then you can see. The left defenseman side Montreal is full. The house is full there. The pipeline left D is hard. But you never know what could have been. Don't give up on Jaden Strobel yet. Give him the time to know what he looked like. And you never know that the adjustment for NCA to NHL is not for everybody. Well, look about Jordan Harris. He's not a bad player for Montreal Canadiens. He's doing not too bad overall, uh, King. 
the Bad Desert Ritter, Andrew Marca of Jersey, Francois Pitre. Uh, if Amia is, is a long term, uh, long term uh, injury reserve, but it could become that way, Gary, if at some point, but you still try to battle through. Dans mon I don't have to put anybody on a long term injury reserve because the cap is pretty good. But at some point, it could become that kind of plus, Gary. Only the time it would tell us. Uh, Luciano, can, uh, can you uh, do a show one night going through all the contracts for the app plus? It might be interesting. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Not a problem, Luciano. Uh, we can have a, you know, a sharing a website. We can go there. Not a problem, Luciano, about that. Uh, that would be great. Thanks so much for all the like we got so far. Uh, Willie, a commercial or residential. Uh, I'm a foreman. I enjoy it. There you go. KLS. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, Uh, no, that uh, two one in Manton, but the goal was a disado. Uh, Pittsburgh Penguin or retirement house team, uh, yeah, obviously, uh, Francois, uh, was so close tonight. This was going to hurt them for a long time. Pittsburgh got rid of Marino Madison and replaced them with Petri of uh, well said, Mr. A2 about this. Uh, Willie, uh, you see, it's a nice day that Mel Housen was my son. Nick Robinson back on the ice uh, this morning for the leave, the channel. Interesting for Nick. Uh, Again, is a player never find a way to pop up. And you have opportunity with a Toronto. He's a left winger. <clears throat> Again, hopefully with the best for him with a Toronto Maple Leaf. Uh, do you think uh, Madison can become a piece of the puzzle or will become a trade asset? Uh, Madison guy is on the peak of his career. Madison will become the David Savard for Montreal Canadiens in the future. Not the play, but the leader. The guy carry on. He, right now, he play like, he has right now send trade deadline, I believe, or January 1st. He's number 10 with the most point like any other defenseman in the NHL. So you talk about one of the, the top of the NHL. So you have to be pleased with Mike, with Mike Madison. I don't think so. I need Montreal Canadiens for the next couple of years. By the way, you want to go that way, guys? Here we go. I set up something here. And uh, and I make a mistake. I would give you this one over there. Uh, and here's, my guys, my future 24-25, 24-25 defenseman roster for the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, Madison, Cooley, Hudson, Jekyll, Barron, and Mayu. That's what I believe is going to get there. Now, I only make a mistake here, guys. I forgot Kovacevic at the bottom. I will, I will put his name there. Kobe right there. So after that, defenseman number seven and number eight, Aris Sabal. He's going to be 34 years old. Can he can stay there or not? Angstrom. This is one I really believe is under my wild card for the Montreal Canadian. Straubel, Trudeau, and Kovacevic. If you think about this, guys, are all the defensemen we have there. We have Baron, we have Mayu. And we have Kovac, uh, Kovacevic. They are only the three defensemen right D. At some point, you have to move Caden Cooley on the right defenseman side if you want to keep that one over there. But that's what they have right now. This is the future of Montreal Canadiens. And black and white right there. You can move one player there. You can go back down. But this is solid. You talk about Right there, a three defensemen and four defensemen. And you can have now Jakai on the on the top pairing, on the third pairing. You can add Baron there too if you want to. So you can have Cooley, you can have um, Mayu, and then you can have after that Baron. You can have Madison, you can have Hudson, and you can add Jakai. And you can add any blood. I'm talking about Angstrom. You can have Strubble, Trudeau, Kovacev, Arias, Saval. I don't said all of them will be there in 24-25. But that'll give you an idea what the defenseman core of Montreal Canadiens is going to look like in two years. The evidence take another goal, 3-0, by the way. Ratanin score. A great question, RJ. Uh, it is to be friends. Uh, does the coach salary affect, sorry, cap, not allowed a uh, roster? Uh, not allowed as two. I'm sorry, I said roster. Roster being done. No, not allowed uh, for that one over there. Uh, where do you, you see Jose next season? 
This is a really interesting case because you said it, first of all, it's going to need a contract. Secondly, he become a, a not exempt weaver. So if you return him in Laval, have to go to the weaver. So that's a really important case about him. Um, it's, if he it shows some flash for him, um, you know, at some point, we have to take a decision. What we do with Korea what we do with Allenon. The miss, the spot, or the spot are not there anymore could hurt a Montreal a little bit next season. They have to sacrifice players. But this is a good, it's a good problem, right? Uh, they can you have a good shot, uh, speed, transition. He's a little bit of style Martin we likes. Now, can he become a consistency in his shot? It's a guy, guys, I'm not sure he can play on the four line. It's a guy who have to play on the top nine, and he can play on unit a power play. That's what you use him right now. Um, but great question, King. I'm still not sure about this. Uh, would you be a Bennett the most from the cap increasing next year? Who would be benefit the most? But is the team, they have 18 team or the maybe 20 or the 32 team, uh, King, have problem with sorry cap. So right away there, they're going to benefit. <laughs> right there. Makes sense. And at the end of the day, it will be everybody there. Uh, at the gym meeting, uh, there was a lot of talk about having back-to-back -back game between team and the same city to save money and help create a uh, rivalry. Thought about this. There was mention about this last year. They used it uh, during the COVID situation. I think it could be a great situation uh, about this. It could be at three days at one location. I think it's good for the rivalities. Until the schedule, it looks like it is right now. It's more difficult. But I think it will be good if they can do that. Uh, everybody benefit. That will give them an extra player days or extra days for the team to add practice and a plot to, to relax. They have to find a way, guy. I, I, I don't want to go that direction. We take too much time, but they have injuries more and more and more. And it could be relate not only the speed of the game or the physicality of the game or everything like that. It could be the how we use our practice, how we go now with traveling, the sleep, the re-energize yourself, uh, you know, the recovery time, uh, the nutrition. It, it, they have to put this a little bit more deeper to maybe say, you know what, take the plane after the game to go to Vegas, to go to Colorado, or to go to Minnesota, pop up at 3 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning. It's maybe not the right way for the, pro the protect your players. So maybe they would say, why not to stay at the same location this weekend and play two games? I don't know. I'm just showing that, right? And that would be another way they can figure out that in the future. It could happen uh, in our tap. But great point about this. Uh, good night, uh, Melissa. Uh, uh, good night. Uh, here we go. Uh, here we go. Uh, tomorrow, like to get 50. That'd be great if we can get that. Uh, what position and the management system do you see? Paul Biron and Carrie Price making sense. Uh, both players have interest to join the future. Carrie Price, I don't think so. It would be in Montreal Canadian. Carrie Price is going to move back in, in, in Vancouver and he will stay there in the British Columbia. It could be something else. I don't see him that way right now in the next 10 years, Carrie Price. I don't see him like Martin Brodeur that way. Uh, on the Paul Biron, there's going to be a management job. Uh, for him. I don't know he's going to see the same path of Matthew Dosh or he's going to see the same path as Francois Bouillon. So I don't know if Biron prefer the, the business side of the game or he prefer the coaching side, scouting of the game. We don't know. The only thing I prefer, I predict, Paul Biron is going to be with the Montreal Canadian management at some point. Uh, about that, what are you going at? There we go. Uh, we're going to get that one. Uh, let time play 30 minutes tonight. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. How about this? Uh, nice. I have uh, an spell right now. All right. Uh, and um, uh, RJ under McCann, sign a three year entry level. Yeah, I'm sorry about this one bit. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, Zero three years, 7.75. This is a problem, Francois. This I like the fact you talk about this, Francois. But Saros guy at his age, there will be his last contract in any shop. So what he wants to do is shake her himself for the rest of his life. So he's going to targeting a minimum a six, seven, eight years, um, Francois. That's what that's what you're going to get. I understand your point of view, but it's not going to happening on the Saros side. He will request that kind of money, and you know 
Jack Campbell got a five years contract at five million dollars at 31 years old. Imagine Saros guys at 30 years old. You are getting right now a six, seven, eight years contract, a minimum seven million dollars, in my opinion. How do you like the rate to raise the second round uh, compared to other second round? It's too hard to say that came of gamer. It's too early to predict what could happen the next one month. Guys, remember, guys, a kid at 16, 15 years old, 17 years old, 18 years old, develop every three months. That, that's how they, they are. So to follow them, uh, to predict in the next one year or two years, and it, it's almost impossible to give you the best answer. The, the young men develop too much quicker, faster. Uh, I'll leave it with that. Marco Larabi knocked the door. Welcome aboard, Marco Larabi. Uh, thanks so much to be with us tonight, uh, Marco. Hopefully, you have an amazing, great Monday. Uh, thanks so much, uh, RJ, for that good news. Finally, get offer accepted on the other Morning, Asbury, Ontario. Congratulations. Uh, here we go, Marco. Bonne nuit, uh, Nat. Uh, Marco, congratulations about that one um, for your new house in Asbury. And your dog is going to like it uh, for sure. Uh, when does it make sense to make a trade after the trade deadline if it ever worth it? Uh, you don't see that, uh, King of Gamer. You only see another one today. It's more about player go to American Archelic to go to another one, but it's minor. It's nothing else about that, King of Gamer. You don't see any major big players going to be trade at the deadline, like uh, you can see in the baseball. Welcome back, uh, Mr. HADI uh, is in the house. Uh, uh, glad to see you aboard. Uh, don't forget, get to the light. Not much, much further. Okay, actually, there we go. People are happy right there. Will Karin uh, uh, return? Uh, something. I'm not sure about this. Really, uh, you know, Karen obviously she deal a lot with the healthy problem at some point, COVID, and uh, you know, but uh, we will definitely bring her at some point to talk about Montreal. Uh, you know, not regularly, but uh, uh at some time of the season. Uh, glad again. Uh, you're going to do something bigger. Can I? Marco, Marco, Marco. Go. Can I? I've been with him the last couple of years. Uh, 2 0 Avalanche. Uh, here we go. KLS, because uh, a great place, you know, everything like that. Uh, I try to pick it up. The question uh, R, would you rank the top five rank in the uh, endo skater in the 2023? Uh, right hand skater, it will be difficult to tell you about this uh, for sure. Uh, but yeah, player like um, I always said to you, um, Oliver Moore, one a great skater for that draft. Uh, Benson is one, you need to improve a bit more, but he's a one of them. Um, you know, Crystal is not one of them. Crystal is difficult. We're uh, skating about this. Uh, uh, Kuliev is another great defenseman with a good skater. The right hand will be too much. Um, to give you exactly all the num all the players by the way there, but you talk about those kind of players, uh, yes, uh, definitely. Um, Will Smith is another one. Uh, Moore is another one uh, for the Team USA. Uh, really good skater, and like and with the Kuliev, the defenseman. Alas, Smith, a complete center. Francois Pitt, yeah, I agree with you about this one. Um, Uh, we definitely fly there. Motor pick was going to be interesting. Uh, AZ2. Uh, good way for Michigan. I could try to get uh, all the information there. Um, uh, Benson right here with Will Smith. Uh, he's a special Benson. Yeah. The only thing with Benson is size of Benson. But you're absolutely about this one. Um, for sure. Come on. All good is... Uh, uh, Carlson. But Carlson, guys, is a really interesting case. Uh, his stock market dropped a little bit in the last three months because other people pick it up. That's simple. Nothing wrong. The Carlson full potential in NHL could become a Matt Sundin. This is the extreme, but that's what he can become. He's a huge 6 2 six, three right there. Shifty with hands. Unbelievable move. Um... A good skater, but not an amazing great skater. An average good above skater, but not an amazing. Uh, play left winger, he can play center, big body. Again, um, 
That's what he can become. Now, he can become, of course, another Vincent Tracek. I'm talking about the productivity of the point. Sebastian Aou is another kind of player I would target. If you want to let me not remember Matt Sundin, Sebastian Aou for the Carolina Hurricane, that's what you can get with Leo Carlson. A uh, top center or player or the top line, that's where he is, Leo Carlson. That's the best way I can describe right now. And Rabinoff uh, uh, about that. I'm going to make a video about the prospect very soon. <coughs> very soon. Uh, <coughs> will you be mad uh, if the trade, the flares up and pick up plus a deep prospect for the art? Uh, um, it depends the prospect for the Montreal Canadian. You talk about Mayu. Hudson, uh, Cooley, I would be upset about that. I don't see Carter Hart right now to be a top goalie, and NHL did not prove it yet in the last three seasons. Uh, this is my biggest concern about Carter Hart. His consistency has not always been there. And to give that pick what Matuat is right now, it's not the right time. It's not the right time to trade what you have already on your hand because you don't know what May is going to become. They did with Sergachev. This is a great example, Sergachev. You gave Sergachev with not knowing exactly what he can become in NHL, and now you pay the price. You gave the your, your guess of Drouin, and look what happened. So you're going to give Cooley and Philippe Mazar, or the first pick of the Flip Panthers, it could become uh, Devoski, or he can become Ray Batcher, he can become Sandin Pelika, he could become any other diff players, and plus a goalie, a Mayo, or a Hudson. And now you get a goalie, and you never know he's going to be the way you think he's going to be. That's my biggest problem about that. Because he did not show up yet. He did not give me a three years year back to back to back with the, pot the potential. He can become, but it's not guaranteed. And we just pay the price with Sergacha. Right now, Montreal hold everything. Don't try to get more what they have right now. Don't trade to trade. You don't have enough asset yet. When you go to complete what the asset they have, then you can figure out something else and they can get something sugar a guarantee about that. I think Montreal Canadian, year number two years and 24, 25, you can look about UF3. You have a couple of goaltender you can pick over there. But again, Montreal will not be ready to win the Stanley Cup at that moment. Montreal will be more ready to win the Stanley Cup in 27, 28, 28, 29. That's really what they're going to be at the peak at the time. Uh, are we going with art? I'm going to be late. Late now, so I sent that question. Uh, they're called Happy Special. 1-1, one, one, uh, Black Ops losing 3-0. 1-1, Sharks and Montana at the end of the first period. I have a feeling I may be trade a tip this pick, uh, if they end up at five or worse, don't uh, do the jet for Pale Dubois, sing him right away. Uh, Suski, Dak Dubois down the middle is pretty sick, just a theory. Again, for Pale Dubois, guys, I would not give anything. Just keep him next year, the following year with UF3 and go from there. If he don't turn around to be not there at the year number two from today, it's not a big deal. They have other players in NHL you can get at 26, 27 years old. He's not a franchise player. He's a good player, but he's not a franchise player, in my opinion. So that would be my best describe. I can call him about that. Uh, and he shall draft better because he shall draft 22. Yes, it is king of gamer. A little bit better. Uh, Korea did not have a good game on this former team. He was unhappy, so we don't know how he will learn here in Montreal. So five years uh, way above is what now 2.3. Yeah, yeah, well said, Andre, about his contract for sure. Uh, Monsieur Shongan, um, bienvenue, de retour avec nous. Uh, Monsieur Shongan, uh, anyone felt like they came about drawing for 40 minutes? Uh, uh, talking, I think he wants to say about that. Hart is good, one, they are no pressure, but I don't trust him. Uh, one, uh, the reason start. Um, here we go. A couple of comments about this. Uh, just curious, but what was there? A draft class where the selection made was pretty much uh, in the correct order. That's called rank them. I don't know if you talk about a specific team. I don't know if you talk about uh, all the team. Uh, but you have a couple of years, like 2005 or 2003, of a really solid, uh, uh, solid uh, draft team, right? Uh, draft players, for sure. Uh, the Edmonton score, 2 1. Yamamoto score for the Edmonton others. Uh, there's one on uh, Camera Cup. Um, 
Question next year. Does 10 more win to low or 15 more win game for this year? Uh, woof, 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 woof. Woof, 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 woof. There's a problem with that part with there, Andre, is that gave about 20 more points. I would say no. As a team, Montreal Canadiens can become next year a 75 point in NHL next year. After excel 75 points, I think this is going to be a good year for the Montreal Canadiens. Otherwise, I don't see that. Uh, they are right now at 60 points. Uh, they were targeting 70 points to reach that part. I think it's going to be about 68 points at the end. And I think Montreal next year at 75 points. Um, that would be a good year overall. Great question, by the way. I like that kind of question. I uh, like the comments about this one. Uh, I is about to hit the prim. Remember how good was Ab and the Barbola? Yeah. That's what a problem, Marco. He never repeat the same year, guys, with the Flyers after that. This is my biggest problem with Carter Hart. The Carter Hart for three years ago is not the same anymore. Far. Like, it's not close. It, it's not close. This is why the reason I would be a little bit careful about that. That's what I, I don't want to trade for Levi. I don't want to trade for Wolf. I don't, we don't need to trade anyone yet. Go get a UFA and 24 and, and 25, 25, 26. Go get a, a goalie is established. He's been in the league for six years, seven years, at 26 years old, at 27 years old goalies. He did it. He proved it. And then you sign him a contract of five years and he can go like that. That would be my only thing about, I would, for the Montreal Canadian. But to give a set for the goalie, you don't know yet. We pay too many times that way over there. Sergei Shev is a great example over there. And you can go many other trades in NHL. That's a bit. Uh, Baron Austin, Kovacic, and Xtreme Medicine, so I'll put it on 24-25 for Nicola. Um, possible. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why Baron and Austin will not be there. I'll be agree with you. Uh, I would be disagree for Madison. Uh, but um, um, but we'll see. Uh, which way do you think Montreal will acquire a first A starter goalie draft? Uh, I think still believe UFE will be the right wing king of gamer, and then he can draft one at some point. So UFE will be the right one, in my opinion. Uh, cannot need a summit a goalie development special in Quebec. Uh, it's only me. Does sound like uh, the best goalie or region? This is a, it's a frame, right? Before it was, the, it was in Canada. Quebec was number one. Then he moved to Finland, Sweden, Finland, and Russia. Uh, it's just a way to do that. Any comments? I think I get the same on board. François, I'm just going. Of course, the price was great, but contract was too much. And I mean, seven point five would be a great. Uh, yeah, I can understand with you. Uh, RJ, uh, Monsieur again, again. Uh, François Pitt. Uh, I try to get Paul Biron, uh, head of the musical staff, a lot of experience. Uh, it has been said like a long time, quality of Canadian Canada has gone down quite a bit over the years. Just think of a second, who would be the three goalie for the team Canada today? Yeah, and I thought, I think for me, it have to be from Team Canada. I think Team Canada have to select uh, and improve that department. And to do that is to, recruit, uh, is to find a way uh, to make them better by the school, more uh, pool, uh, you know, more teaching, and everything like that. The cost of the equipment is one problem. The lack of the athletes want to be goalie. The cost to play hockey is hard. And the lack of the education, teaching the coaches to teach the goalie is another problem there. Put all together, that's what they call right there. Um, is uh, look like Boston is Paul going come home to get snow on a pick? Uh, is Paul going home to get snow on a pick? Oh, that's a great point to look at Boston uh, about that one. Welcome back, look up. Uh, thanks so much to be with us. Uh, 
je pense que les euh, loups de mer de Saint-Jean conduiront encore ou des esquises pour M. Schengen. Coach, uh, how do you explain your uncanny uh, knowledge of the hockey? It's great mention of fact of the source you use. You must spend a lot of time on the recess of player and your past life in hockey. It's a mix of two. Uh, William, thanks so much, by the way, for your kind of word. Uh, it's a learning the concept of the game, but after that, today, it's all about information. So, yes, I'll be honest with you guys. I spent about four or five hours per day to pick up every news around the league. And that's including prospect. That's including everything. So, I have about six every, uh, you know, I'm listening YouTube channel. I'm listening podcasts. And I'm watching the YouTube. Uh, I'm watching the website. So, how I do that? So, I'm with you. And when I the gym... For 90 minutes, but I do listening at least one or two podcasts in French and English. Uh, on YouTube channel, I would pick it up, the uh, French station, TV strange station, example, what's going on over there. Then I have three other websites to pick it up, the news around the league, injury, signature, everything like that. And the prospect I get uh, on the prospect site, I pick up, um, I pick up on the prospect site, uh, I read expert about that. So, you know, you have to be pay member about different website. And that's what I do. So uh, not good enough for me, but uh, I hope I can bring knowledge the most I can for you guys. Uh, and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. I hope one day we're going to get more people in that chat and we have more time and more fun all together. So thanks so much, uh, William, to sharing this with me. Uh, what should sing and Danny as an uh, is a uh, and it's all 30 gold 1.693 uh, 22 uh, years old is the best in the league and young age. Uh, Daniel is I have uh, and a kid. Here we go. Uh, attention at that, everything like that. Francois, okay, Saros maybe not be the right one for you, coach. I will check uh, other goalies uh, contract and try to find another prospect for the future cup. Not a problem, Francois. Again, I don't say it's not the right goalie. The timing of his age, the way he's thinking to become and he wants to get a contract, the timing with Matwa a little bit uncertain, in my opinion. But I could be wrong. Maybe can you said no. We're going to get him anyway. I want just busy. Uh, look, uh, look, never busy. By the way, look, uh, uh, you're not busy when it's not snowing. At least if it's snowing, uh, Monica. Uh, but I'm pretty confident Saros will be uh, a great hockey to until they fire. Uh, it could happen, and it could. I agree with you. Two two guys, the San Jose Sharks and the Edmonton Oilers. Um, You, 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 you're absolutely right. He is really there, but not sure that year number six, seven, and eight are his contract. But great point. I, again, I, I respect that one over there. Uh, been watching uh, you and a tap. Uh, uh, RJ, uh, five, four. And a tap calls, how concerning are you about the hurricane going to the playoff? But the problem with that is like the the who can score over there now? You know, you lost a 34-35 scoring. Your top patrol is going to be there. And who who's the next can do that? Terrenavin? Right? Uh, I think the lack of offensive is going to catch him, catch them up at the end. When you're going to compete with that part over there. The system is good. They have good, good dender defensemen, but I don't think so. They can at least to go a very long run in the playoff without Shemnikov or Pachuriti. And they didn't pick anybody at the that line. So, unfortunately, uh, concern is right there for sure. Only just a second, Cartwright, and, and 24-25. There we go, Francois. Why do you recent players face criticism? Because of the nationality, I understand the situation, but they are professional hockey players. Uh, This is how it is at the end of the day, uh, King. Um, people are upset about all the things. They put this all together. And that's the only reason I can mention to you. It's just, you know. I know 30 years old, uh, scrambled uh, 24 just a second cheese. Um, uh, then uh, we'll talk too much about Dwayne. Uh, please give me a break. Uh, 
I will die, Alexandre. Um, yeah, did not bring uh, Jonathan Drouin yet, uh, by the way. I agree, uh, King. I hate one day. You're yeah, absolutely about that. Again, it's something uh, we can give up. Uh, we're going to go there. So, six possibilities. Uh, and I thought there are many of them. I try to get picked up here. Before we get out, hyper up on the Dubois. Uh, can we wait and see who he will be drafted this summer? If we get Fantelli or Smith, I don't see why we should sign or trade for Dubois. Um, two things about that, uh, Francois. First, you're right. Secondly, I would say to you, uh, don't trade for Pierre Dubois. Thirdly, let him play another year next season. If he can play 75 games a plus and he can reach a one point per game, then after that, you can sign him as a UFA. If you don't have a center number one in NHL. We don't know if Will Smith will be become better at Nick Zuzky. I don't know yet. Fentley, if you want to get him, you know, he, he can become that number one center, but it would take a little bit longer. But yeah, so right. Can Kirby Duck become that PL Dubois? I don't know. Look like the goal of the Sharks are out now on the board. So still to one. Uh... We almost hit the two hours. Uh, do you think the game is balanced enough, or would you like any rotation apply in the next uh, few years? Uh, this is a great subject. I don't want to get there, guys, because I have so many things. I would love to talk about this. I still believe there are one area the NHL can change the game. As to, they cannot look go on the, on the 200, but they can go from 80, 85 feet to maybe 95 feet. That's maybe a one they can look about this. Secondly, I will say to you, I will maybe remove the blue line at some point. I know it's stupid. I understand that. Why coach? Because, because the offside. The offside become now a big problem if it's good or not. The, the review wing, everything like that. I, again, we talk about crazy ID. I understand that. I will go with only one line, the red line. Or you remove the red line completely and you play with the two blue line and you have offside there. But I will change that red line. The red line is only good for an icing, right? That's it. That's the purpose of the red line at the end of the day. Nothing else. It's just the icing. So you can have only an icing directly from the blue line. Behind the blue line. That will get the game a little bit faster, in my opinion. And then that will, uh, you know, they're going to dump the pack more and they have more change in the game. So for me, I will remove the red line. And that will be the way I will say that for you guys. So hopefully, uh, you know, I can go with other rules, but now it's going to be crazy. Yeah, so right, Marco, about the show, we talk about this. Uh, no strike at the B500. Everyone have an air. Uh, uh, until they can play NHL, they are suspect no more or less. Uh, but the prospect, you never know. Look at uh, until they develop. The key behind that look, I think, is just not Montreal. As when you have a team, have a lot of good prospects like Columbus, as like Arizona, as you can see the, the success of New Jersey they got now with all the prospects they got in the last five years, three years. Look about Buffalo, all the prospects they get. And the last couple of years, who they all look like now with Peter, uh, Peter Carr, Quinn, and you can go looking in, uh, Owen Power, Ramos Dallin, and every team right there. I think you can, you have to be excited at some point. Look, uh, we talk about good uh, good players from Montreal, the Cooley, the Caulfield, uh, the Doc. Uh, we talk about Hudson, then uh, you talk about uh, Mayu. Um, it, you know, they have a lot of good prospects over there. By the time we tell us they are good enough, uh, uh, same as still trading him or the getting to asset, it might be brain there. At some point, that's the year next season, and I thought they have to figure out this. Uh, uh, do you sign Kaden Coley and Justin Barron long term when their contract expires? Uh, not Barron, but I would consider Kaden Coley a uh, king of gamer for sure. Uh, who do we consider the best finish goalie all time? Ah. Uh, That's a good one for that one. For Finnish, for Finland. Uh, there are many of them. Uh, uh, it's funny because 
at the best finish, finish. I think you want to talk about, can you tell me if you talk about finish like the Finland team, Finland country, or the Finnish goalie all time? Uh, Finnish goalie, it's a finish, right? So Marco, talk, he, he said it's more about finish. So we look like more the Finland, uh, Rene or Kiprasov. I agree with you, Marco, about that one there. Uh, do you see the leave having what it takes to get past the balls? Uh, I think so, Willie. Uh, Willie. And I would say to you, it's a mix of the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Tampa Bay Lightning, the defense is a bit uh, concerned for me. Uh, but uh, it's going to be a seven game. Um, I would not be surprised if this series go at seven game. Uh, took a rest for this channel. There we go. That's a good one over there. Why do you have so uh, few Japanese born players in the nation? I'm not really sure there are any of them. Uh, it's because, uh, you know, it's never been a, a country about hockey. It's increasing more. The cost to play in Japan is really expensive. Um, I have a few bills, but, you know, I have some kind of connection with that. But it would be, uh, for me, it's Rask and Rabinov. Uh, Cole is the goal. No, I think so much enough. Uh, uh, so for this uh, match, uh, Jean Bon. Um, Jean Bon. 2-2 uh, and Minton looked like goal. It was uh, just going to disallow. And then uh, Mr. RG continues with the, the baseball World Junior Classic. Uh, um, what a rest left. Yes, he was drafted uh, by the leave. Uh, there we go. Jake McAnuey, do you think enough tap when he paid Jet have a chance to make them? To make the playoff, yes, Jake. To be a long run, I don't think so. Uh, look, I got a confirmed coach. She will teach you to relax. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I did meet someone, but uh, I'm not sure it's relaxed when the Thai woman looking for money. I don't have a lot of money, so it's, I don't sure I can relax uh, about the demanding, but uh, they have good learning process here in Thailand about the woman. <laughs> but it's great to see that. Um, uh, do you think Florida will be the team to take that last spot? Uh, I think so too, King. I feel that way. Uh, good night, Marco. Time for the dog uh, and conversation, Marco, for your house, guys. Uh, we love those story, guys. Sharing your experience. Sharing, uh, you know, the San Jose Sharks score again. Sharing, guys, everything here. Tell us about everything. You you know, if you have some problem or you have anything, good news. Uh, we are a family here at the Hockey Nation Live Show. Uh, Fleur, uh, pushing hard king. Yeah, lucky I agree with you about that one there. Good night, Marco. The other shot game is a joke with all this shot and being called. Uh, three desired goals tonight and maintain the San Jose. I don't sign Dubois, period. Yeah, look, look, la façon. I'm still worried about this. Uh, look, I will wait uh, until they prove to me he can do it again. Uh, who would be the second uh, for a team? Uh, what will you on that? Like, I don't want to sign Dubois. King, are there any tall players that worth mentioning over 5 6 in the upcoming draft? Uh, would be nice to have more size on the bottom six. Uh, they don't have a lot. They have a defenseman, uh, King, uh, for the Russia defenseman. But you don't have a lot. It's a, it's a guy, the players, good players in this draft are smaller. This is one that maybe they think consider it's not a tall uh, draft. You know, I'm talking about 6'4", six, 6'5", six, six, six. They don't have many on that draft king of gamer. Professor Yontem was always been the Canucks. Uh, Little Fossil uh, for they would like to see an increase in the eight minute and reduce the red line to see more fluent game through the position oriented. Great point in our top. Uh, let's go for them is bad news for the bear. Will Logan Coley join the Coyotes? Yes, he will. Uh, he will. Uh, it was almost confirmed uh, uh, yesterday. I, I got it uh, on the news uh, about that one over there. Uh, Finnish uh, King was confirmed by Marco, and uh, we talk about Kriprasov, Rask, and Re uh, and PK Rennie. Uh, we have a thread talent poll. Let's be patient with them. Makes sense. I guess uh, let's not the like we guess did what is key. Have great Francois about this one. Once out the LA uh, guys uh, already uh, for just got that one. And I thought your analysis uh, at the warm up show is gold. It is excellent. William Declary. Uh, do you remember Stan Smell, Danny, and Dennis Rahe? Uh, 
Dennis Ververgard, misspelling, sorry about this one. Uh, I remember really well a stand smell with Tony uh, Tandy and Tandy. I always liked the Canucks. It's funny you look at that because uh, Canucks was not my favorite team, but I always liked the Canucks. I, I, I never have a, any other favorite team, but I like teams. I like players. And uh, Vancouver has always been, you have a lot of French Canadians. I have to go in 1981 when the king, uh, Richard Bradar, uh, was the goalie over there. And they always bring some uh, good players um, with, you know, add uh, snap, snap uh, the defenseman over there. Uh, they have a lot of good team in Vancouver. Uh, earlier, like Marcus L- L- Naslund, they said in, uh, you know, a couple of years ago. But you have to go all the way. The time, look, you talk about the sand smell. Uh, with 2010 D uh, with the Canucks, Vancouver Canucks. Uh, uh, La Lande et Brada, le Clafarson, here we go. Uh, you know, uh, Sanzner is getting old. Uh, he worked um, work with the, the, this organization. Claude Richard would be a app good pick for the app. Yes, I'm not sure number five, Claude, but uh, if Montreal would be better, you know, seven, the Shark take the lead three to two, by the way. The King take the lead 2 0, by the way. Uh, I wish the Montreal could get the pick number 12, 13, 14. They can get a defenseman right there, Claude. But we'll see and see who's going to be there at 17, 18, 19 with the Montreal going to select number two. As well, well done. Again, great for yourself on your part. Uh, uh, good night, Mikala. Uh, less money, coach, less woman, less believe me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree with you. Or Phoenix. Uh, oh, and you could enjoy uh, join the game. Is Sean right to join and it's next season also? Yes, uh, I think so too. Uh, Francois, don't think about Logan Coley. It will get 22 draft. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, that would be something interesting about this. Uh, uh, Turco is my first goalie uh, behind Carey Price. Uh, Marty Turco who works what now with the Dallas Star. I keep my mouth on a decision, but I still will have pick Coley first uh, looking at uh, Francois Peter. The potential looking Coley is going to be an, an, a mantra, a tremendous great uh, Francois, uh, for sure. Again, we'll see the time with tell us. I will snap. I said I'll snap, right? I apologize. Uh, look, it was I will snap. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry to, uh, uh, about that. Um, she said there's something missing on the Gabriel space that could be a personality. Possible, Jean Bon, uh, not said. Do you see Montreal start drafting down if they don't get top four pick? Uh, no. Uh, not allowed, King. Uh, Jean Bon, pas that, Chris. Bon, ça. Yes, and then on tap, and on tap, get that. But this, uh, I know we crossed the time here now, guys. Uh, it's 11 o'clock uh, here in the show. Uh, we try to keep everything uh, low at two hours here. But I would like to hear from you guys. Uh, maybe uh, if someone could just mentioned the chat. If anybody heard about Jose today and uh, sharing this, Danny, the King take the lead 3 0, guys. Again, the Kings, guys. Uh, oh my God, the flame not looking, uh, not looking good. Can anybody put in the chat the situation with, in, uh, with Jose Duarte from Danny, if you don't mind, or anybody else? Uh, if someone look uh, about that. Uh, uh, for this, uh, um, I have another thing I want to mention to you guys. I will go briefly about the ad news. Uh, I forgot. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, back on the on the ice today, uh, Doc Evan Gallagher from the Montreal Canadian. They are all wearing no contact jersey, the Navy one. Uh, it would be interesting if one of them or two of them or three of them are going to be back Montreal from the last twelve game in NHL for the Montreal. Uh, Coley is still out. We don't know the, the, the situation with Coley. It's just to call from what we heard today. Like the fact he is not close to come back for what we heard. But again, not, not, nothing else on his situation will be something to follow up for the next couple of days. Uh, Emil Eneman is available now. So what is the situation? But he got eliminated this weekend. Emil Eneman now could join the Montreal Canadian if the, everything looked good or he could join the Laval Rocket. That's something we're going to hear maybe tomorrow. The next 48 hours, I'll be surprised. Sean Farrell, guy, is pushed back now. His elimination is not done yet, and he played Friday. If he can get out, it'll be happening. If it's not Sunday, 
uh, he can play again. If not, he go to Final Four. Same situation with Lane Hudson. The game for Lane Hudson is going to not go nowhere. He's going to return, I believe, for Boston. And for Sean Farrell, he's going to get a contract right away. Uh, this is going to be done deal by the Montreal Canadiens. I talked about my video yesterday. Montreal could maybe be looking for the goaltender and NCA. They have a, a few of them. One of them is uh, Yenev uh, uh, Tripet. I don't know his last name. From Dollar de Zamo, play with the Queen in back. He's on my video today uh, about him. Will be, uh, the problem with Montreal Canadian guy, when they sign Sean Farrell, they're going to have 48 contract uh, on the 50. So they have to be careful about that. And finally, if you want to know more news about Montreal Canadian, uh, look like Jonathan Drouin is back. He was playing on the second line today. Uh, but we're not going to talk about the saga Drouin anymore. And I want to talk about the Montreal Canadian. They have until June 15 to sign four players. Uh, Joe Verbedic, the goaltender, play right now in the East Coast Hockey League. He was drafted by Montreal Canadian, big giant 6'6", six, six, uh, uh, play with the, the 12-year Lions. Uh, they have Frederic Tichot play in the Swe uh, Sweden uh, Hockey League right now with Fran Lunda. Uh, they have to give him an, an offer, a contract. And Jack Gorniak, uh, drafted by the Montreal Canadian a couple of years ago, 23 years old. I've only 12 points, 32 two games this year in NCAA. Don't go nowhere. I don't see Montreal going to sign Gorniak. Uh, Mikual Tourigny is running to saint Tourigny have a great year le, this year in Austria. Uh, I would not be surprised they get a contract, at least for the Laval Rocket, to join the team. And Tisho Verbedic will have a contract uh, at the, some point. So they are the, really the four players Montreal have to figure out for the next couple of weeks uh, or months uh, what their situation if they stay inside of an organization. They have to make a move. That's the point behind that. And it would be interesting to see that uh, for that one. So it will be a turn game, what we got here. Uh, a little bit at the top here. Um, do you see Matra drafting down? They're going to get it done one there. Uh, wow, wow, no words uh, yet for Jose. And after that, thank you for sharing with us. And I just said, I have a chance because the Jet not looking good. I agree with you, King. Uh, but the Nashville last Roman OZ day to day and Ren McDonald. They are a little bit shaky, King. I don't think so. They have to win the next three games. Uh, good night, Francois. They next they have to win the next three games. They are they have to catch up, and then it consists to winning. And the last thirteen game they have to play. I think it's a really a big task for them. Edmonton tied the game, guys. Uh, three three. Eck home scored a second goal with the Oilers this year. Claude Richard, uh, thank you so much. Almost took a flame and a tap. Uh, there we go. Three three. Let you know. The uh, Bears uh, should join the NHL next season. Here's the situation with the Montreal Canadiens. So the reason why they try maybe sign Tisho and Verbedic, first of all, you know, guys, Montreal have only three goalies uh, as a signature with Montreal. So Primo, Allen, and Montembeau, nothing else. Poulain, Verbedic, they don't have no contract with Montreal Canadiens. So they cannot call up anybody uh, with a Montreal Canadiens in case. So that's the biggest problem they have. Torbert's the situation, he can return one more year, play with the uh, how are you stay, and they can sign one of the damn t show ever but sick. Or <clears throat> they could wait for them and sign um, Dobez, and Dobez could join the Laval Rocket next year. This is another possibility. I like you sharing this, Dobez, uh, King of Gamer, uh, about that. Ubardo not looking good, and Calgary may be overrated. <sighs> And I say you're not wrong about this, look. And I, I would say to you, let's wait one more year. Next year. Uh, if his father is still over there, if Mokagre don't make any change, um, Uberdo is not used properly by Daryl Sutter. Uh, Uberdo always performed with a great skater behind him, beside him. He's been Uberdo. He's been a, a great hockey player. Now, I will wait one more year so, to see what he looks like next year. And I don't want to give up on him yet, but look, you can con your concern is right, and I am too. And But let's see one more year. It would be my best to look uh, about him. So you send me a uh, you pick, Danny. Uh, Torini deserves a shot. I have faith on him. Problem with him is another, def another defenseman, a small size, only 5'8", 5'9". Uh, uh, but he's on one can carry on the box. I think the Laval Rocket could use him very well. Uh, 
Canadian match a three plus injury. Joan Armia out Jordan the race. I can call it. Thanks for so RJ. I will not put them jail. Look, uh, Pair Pot on time avec les suspects coach on verra. Uh, oui, ben d'accord avec toi, mon Luc. For that, uh, who care about the goalies at this point? <laughs> yes. How is uh, Thomas Tatar doing this year? Have a great year. Uh, Thomas Tatar, King with the, the new show they was. The Sharks take the lead four to three guys uh, right now. Uh, Carlson to go uh, tonight uh, for the song of the Sharks. Uh, is looking to get uh, the trophy Norris uh, this year and uh, NHL. Uh, uh, what a great night tonight, guys. Uh, tonight, hopefully you enjoyed the show. And uh, I look forward to tomorrow night uh, of the Hawking show. The King take the lead 4-0, guys. Uh, uh, right now, under the goal. And with four minutes to go remaining. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I was really feel good tonight, uh, guys. Uh, I don't know. I, I think the show had generation growing a little bit. And that's what I'm looking for. So uh, uh, hopefully we're going to go back together only um, Wednesday night. Uh, tomorrow night, Montreal play again the... The Tampa Bay Lightning at the Bell Center on Thursday again at Boston Bros. Not looking good for the Montreal Canadiens for the next couple of days. But he played Blue Jackets Saturday night. Uh, 12 more games to go, guys. Unbelievable. Only 12 more games. And NHL for the Montreal Canadiens is going to be really gone very soon this season for the Montreal Canadiens. Here we go. That's when they quit return at the end of the year. Possible. About that one there. Thanks so much, William. About this one there. Before we leave, guys, we want to tell you one more thing. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are the best. And remember, you have greatness inside of you. You have greatness inside of you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much to join me tonight. We want to thank all the moderators. A lot of people question. That's all about, guys. It's about questions. More questions we have, more conversation we have, and more fun we have all together. So, moderator, thanks so much again. We wish the best for Jose. We hope to hear from him very soon. And for the rest of the people in the chat, uh, thanks so much for your support. Only you fact you put you follow up us and to be with us every night that make a big fun for the channel. So I just want to deep. Uh, from my heart, uh, I'm really grateful and thankful for what you bring on the table every night. Until then, my friend, remember, of course, we have to thank RG Calabro with all the updates. Be well, be healthy. Find a way not only to dominate your day, but find a way to dominate the first app of what? Oh, yeah! 2023! Have an amazing, great night, everybody. I look forward to seeing you next time. Of course, sweet dream and sweet well. And remember, we love you, people. Have a good night, everybody.